Well, Tucson has a rich history when it comes to Hollywood. John Wayne spent many years filming and living here. Exactly right. Old Hollywood stars like Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn, Clark Gable, even Gary Cooper, all spending time here in Tucson. But it might surprise you to learn about the big name stars who frequented Skyline Country Club, helping make it absolutely Arizona. This is what makes Skyline Country Club the, the oh, greatest yeah. view of all uh, of Tucson. Yes, absolutely. First time I came here, I like was mesmerized by the view. And the thing is, it gets better every time you come. GM Sergio Salazar and his Skyline Country Club are celebrating 60 years of this magnificent view. Nestled in the Catalina foothills, Skyline Country Club has one of the most scenic golf courses in Arizona. It opened in 1963. Skyline's history is straight out of Hollywood. The Rat Pack used to come out here. Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin all came out here. That's right, the Rat Pack at Skyline Country Club in the 1960s. Sinatra, Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, and Joey Bishop. Current head golf pro Chris Dampier knows the history of the sports celebrities who've been to Skyline. Joe DiMaggio, uh, you had Hank Aaron, I mean you had... Uh... Uh, a whole bunch, Joe Namath, a movie right here, mm -hmm. Anne Margaret. I mean, some famous, famous people. Joe Namath and Anne Margaret starred in the 1970 movie CC and Company, filmed at Skyline Country Club. But the biggest surprise resident of Skyline? Even the first Playboy Mansion was on hole number four. Most people don't know that. Hugh Hefner was on four. Apparently, the Tucson Playboy Mansion lasted just one year before Hefner moved to L.A. So how did all these celebrities end up at Skyline Country Club in Tucson in the 1960s? The story goes, Arizona was about to give Las Vegas a run for its money. They originally built it to be a casino hotel, because at the time there was a theory that they were going to start allowing uh, gambling. This is 60 years ago, 65 right. years ago, and they were going to compete with Nevada. Mm -hmm. So that's why supposedly it was built with this in the mind, because this, the middle part was going to be part of the casino. That certainly fits the Rat Pack vibe of the exterior of the clubhouse. As Skyline Country Club celebrates its 60th anniversary, they remember the past while preparing for the future. The 60,000 square foot clubhouse is going through a multi-million dollar renovation. We've been here for 60 years and it was just time to do a renovation, so we figured instead of doing it slowly, let's do everything. The golf course just went through a $2.5 million makeover. The greens are now 40% larger. Well, hopefully the score should come down. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, the, that's the end goal is to have people have more fun. How's it playing now that they've made all these changes? It's playing a little bit easier with the green approaches and the greens being a little larger. But for me, it could play a little easier yet. A second generation member of Skyline, Jim Ballmer, appreciates the history on this 60th anniversary. It's a pretty uh, unusual and unique place. And, Best view of the city. A million dollar view that makes Skyline Country Club absolutely Arizona. Yeah, and get this, the junior golf program there at Skyline Country Club just ranked second in the country, and that's a real positive sign for the future of golf here in Tucson and at Skyline Country Club. How about that history? Okay, the one thing I'm just like still trying to wrap my head around is the first Playboy Mansion being yeah, here in for Tucson. one year, and then he moved to Hollywood. Wow. At least, yeah. That's it's, incredible. It's true. It Very really cool. happened. All right.